This is Uganda. And these hysterical children are chanting, Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwanuka. They're chanting for this enormous man here, Matthias Kiwanuka. And that's his wife, Tessa. The kids are psyched because he just built them a new school. Now, when he's not building schools in Africa, he plays defensive end for the New York Giants. Matthias has deep roots in Uganda. His grandfather was the first prime minister, and a lot of his family still lives there. This is his family here. Well, not those two white girls. They're not Ugandan or related to Matthias. The reason we're in Uganda is to bring some attention to the nonprofit those ladies work for. I'd say Treat the Pain is an organization that is bringing palliative care, bringing um, drugs, specifically morphine, to people who don't have access to it. Okay, let me say that again. We're in Uganda with Treat the Pain, a program of the American Cancer Society and they work to provide access to pain relief. Okay, don't stop watching. If a pro footballer can give this much energy to the cause, well, you see, this program, what they do, it's tough to talk about. They work with organizations to provide pain relief to dying people. You know, at some point, we are all gonna die. And if you're dying from a sickness or an illness, you're probably going to have a lot of pain. In the United States, we don't think about it because you know you just pull a button and somebody gives you a pain reliever. But around the world, in places like Uganda, there are people who are literally dying without any medication at all, which is um, you know, a horrible way to even think of, of, of passing. Treat the Pain works to improve access to pain relief for people dying of AIDS or cancer. Because the only thing worse than dying of AIDS or cancer is to die of AIDS or cancer with no access to pain relief. And we've talked to a number of people who said, without this morphine, I would have, you know, no dignity. I would have a hard time getting through the day to day, hour to hour, minute by minute, because the pain is that great. The thing about this problem, the lack of access to pain relief, is that there's a solution, kind of an easy one. And that's to get more medication to more people who need it. And by working with organizations like Hospice Africa Uganda, that's what Treat the Pain does. There's no shortage of problems in this world. You can't solve them all. Why care about this problem? Because it's fixable. And it gives people their dignity. How are you from? Hospice. They're wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs>